So as you can see, I'm doing Gio's hair right now. I'm retwisting it. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to how often you should crochet a needle. Now, some people say every four to six weeks, some people say every however. When you have straight hair and you have new dreads, you need to crochet a needle more often in the beginning process before they mature. Because if you look at his hair, look at all of these flyaways. So what are you supposed to do with those? You can't just leave them. They have to be tied back into the dreadlock. Now, if you crochet hook every two weeks for the rest of your life, yes, that will be bad for your hair. But for the first three to four months, doing it once a month or so is okay. And that's what we're doing right now. So all I'm doing here is all these flyaways from the roots. I did this one a little bit. There's still more here. You just crochet hook it. Nice and easy. So it's just a dreadlock maintenance for straight hair locks. He's had them for about a month. And this is the first real maintenance he's gotten. Beginning, it's okay to crochet hook more often. So, a little bit. You can see all these flyaways. I'm gonna get all of them. Hey, look at this. We did interlock his hair. So you can see it's not really that difficult for me to crochet hook. Geo has a dandruff problem that we're working on. <laughs> but they're really separated. Um, they haven't married into each other too much. We did a good job interlocking them. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing them. I do a little bit of a twist. So right here, I grab and all these flyaways, I kind of wrap them around, work them in. Now, obviously this is just for straight hair dreadlocks. He has very straight hair. I do those flyaways. We don't need to do an, an, another interlock yet. He doesn't have enough new growth. Anyone can do this. You literally just squeeze, land, pull out. You can wrap. You can just go down, you can go fast. The faster you go, the less clean it will be. But there's some masters who've been doing it for a very long time who can do it very fast. This dread already looks so much better. See this? Mm -hmm. Look at this dreadlock compared to this one that has not, you know, mm -hmm. it's puffing out. See, they're nice and separated. Kirsten did a great job actually locking these. So I'm about halfway done. Crochet hooking, try not to get super close to the root because it'll hurt the person a lot. Try to get as close as you can. See, just right here. I'm looping these around. And once they're looped around, you go and then, how does that feel too? It hurts a little bit. A little bit? It's okay for it to hurt a little bit, but they're screaming in pain. <laughs> you're probably too close and you're doing it wrong. Just finished this lock. See how nice this one is. There's always going to be a little bit of flies in the beginning. That's what we're trying to eliminate. But it's been interlocked. It's strong. He has very strong hair, which is great. Two straight hair dreadlocks need to be crochet hooked more often before they're fully matured. Don't let anyone tell you that you should, you should only crochet hook your hair once. Very easy. Keep them neat. Don't overdo it. Every, every time you see a flyaway, you don't need to crochet hook it because that will be bad for your hair. But once a month, um, and if it's really bad, maybe once every three weeks. And it's okay. But don't do this forever. It's just for non-mature, new straight hair locks.